This was the moment the war came to a shopping centre in a Kyiv suburb and turned it into a smouldering ruin instantly. With a multiplex theatre, fitness club, stores and fast food restaurants, it was a big draw for surrounding apartment blocks, also damaged by the late night missile strike. People in those blocks left traumatised and wondering how their local mall could in any way be a military target. I saw a huge blast and it lit up my room. I live just here, in front of it. The blast threw me off the bed. Some were too close to the blast, an explosion which sent debris raining down for several hundred meters all around. For many, there's disbelief at how a neighbor with such close cultural and religious links could act like this. The Russians have exhausted my limits for love. We call, as King David did, for righteous punishment. From Ukraine's president, another appeal for the world to come to his country's aid with economic retaliation against Russia. Please don't sponsor weapons of war for the country of Russia. No euros for the occupiers. Close all your ports to them. Don't send them your goods. With much of Russia's invading army being held on different fronts after apparent setbacks, it seems to be relying more on rocket and missile attacks able to reach all parts of Ukraine. Hypersonic missiles are super precise, very precise, and we destroyed underground ammunition stocks. The hypersonic missiles were fired from 1,000 kilometers and only took 10 minutes. A Russian deadline for Ukrainian forces in the besieged ruins of Mariupol to surrender was ignored. There have been continued problems for some of the thousands of people still inside the city to get out. But humanitarian corridors agreed between the two sides have been operating elsewhere in Ukraine. Still in the south, Mykolaiv remains a hotly contested front line and the link to the far more strategically important city of Odessa. A house there destroyed by shell fire, with more shells falling in the seas off a shoreline that could become the next battleground in this seemingly relentless conflict. Rob McBride, Al Jazeera, Lviv.